the science of sustainable design focus on Philadelphia. The team is a team of instructors, myself from Landscape Architecture Horticulture, Lynn Mandarano from Community and Regional Planning, Rob Mason from Environmental Studies, and Sally Harrison from Architecture. It introduces basic scientific principles, environmental principles, that ought to be the basis for design, but currently are not finding their way into mainstream design. I believe they will. I believe they're beginning to, and I believe they will uh, really propel us into design in the 21st century. Students will be taking field trips, and that is built into the course. We have one day of lecture, and the second day is a breakout session, and during that breakout session of 25 students, every two or three weeks there should be a field trip or hands-on application to really get people out into the field to see what is going on and to be able to connect these scientific principles to design and to the world around them. Great progress has been made in places like Germany, the Netherlands, and Japan. So we'll be looking at case studies of, of sustainable design. From the international perspective, business right now, they're making changes on their own. So even without government impetus. So <clears throat> it's, you know, it's, it's here. I like a very interactive classroom, and that's one of the reasons that we set aside the second day for, for truly interactive discussion. And we do work as teams often, collaborating with each other and coming up with creative designs. So this introduction might be what brings you into landscape architecture, for example, or environmental studies or planning. Both my parents were scientists. Um, and I was interested in natural science, but I was also very interested in art. And it's, uh, you know, it's, it's a discipline that combines both. And I think it's, it's fascinating for that reason. And I think, you know, humans are naturally, most humans are interested in both science and art. And so what this course actually tries to do is integrate the two.